same day that Purdue students actually went back to class. Yeah, our Ben Handelman is there in Indiana right now. A cold return to class here at Purdue University, much like the Wisconsin area. We started the day below zero. Students, however, say they are happy to get back to class, get back into their routine. And today we learned there will be some permanent changes at the electrical engineering building. Two days after the shooting, the pace of student life is returning to normal. Classes are back in session inside the electrical engineering building. It was inside a lab in the basement. 21-year-old West Bend native Andrew Bolt was killed. A fellow classmate is suspected of the crime, while the rest of the building appears back on track. It still seems unreal for me. In the basement, students pass by a room frozen in the tragedy. Come here and that, that's exactly the classroom where the shooting happened. I kind of feel sad. That classroom will not be used. In fact, um, uh, we, we are planning on renovating that area, so we'll need to go back and figure out what options are. School leaders say the room's future is discussion for another day. Thursday is about healing. It's just clear we've lost, uh, the world has lost to someone who would have done great things. Walking the hallways for the first time since the shooting, former Indiana governor, now Purdue president, Mitch Daniels. Moments earlier, he spoke with friends of Bull. Obviously, at a time of tragedy, people will find good things to say, but descriptions of Andrew go way beyond that. He walks halls comforting a stunned campus, remembering a student who should have had a bright future. Plainly, he was a person of great talent and aptitude. He was clearly a young man of great character. So for many students, they are trying to get back on track, but for those who knew Andrew Bolt, their experience here at Purdue may never be the same. In West Lafayette, Indiana, Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. And this morning, the Bolt family announced details.